Yo, what is up guys, Alex Boyer here and welcome back to the channel. So being a magician obviously requires me to watch videos of other magicians online to learn, to appreciate the art a little bit more, and sometimes, well, just to have a good laugh on cringy magic videos. All this to say that in today's video, I just wanted to watch a couple of magic videos with you guys and explore the magic community a little bit more. So if you guys are ready to watch some crazy awesome magic videos with me, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and let's do it. So I'm going to go on Instagram right now and type magic tricks. I'm going to go in hashtags. I'm going to go in reels. All right, here we go. Oh, I love this guy so much. Edu Wong, I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but he's such an amazing slide of an artist. He's he's incredible. I'm gonna actually like this video. I know it's gonna be good already, so. Oh yeah. <sighs> Crazy. Good job, buddy. All right, this is Jason Maher, one of my good friends. There's like nothing he can do. He's he's very good. Uh, let's watch it together here. All right, guys, got an oldie but a goodie for you here. You get a card selected at random. In this case, it's going to be the five of diamonds. And that card gets lost somewhere into the center of the pack. And to make sure it's really lost, we shuffle the cards into each other a few times. And now we must locate it. To locate it, I recommend doing the old face up, face down shuffle. This gives you an opportunity to scan at least half the cards for the selection. And if you don't see it in the face up cards, it means it's in the face down cards. Of course, this is an absolute mess to try and sort through. So I recommend trying to locate the card using the oldest method in the book, and that is magic. You draw a little circle, that's the hex, a snap, that does the trick. And now everything squares up and faces the same direction, except for one card, the selected five of diamond. Well, there we go. He's so good. I'm actually going to go on the page Magic Digest just because they have so much good magic there. Um, okay, let's go with this one here. Okay. Rope trick. Here we go. Wait, what? Um, let's watch this again. I'm a little bit confused of what happened here. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, uh... It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Wow. Sick trick, bud. Okay, um... What's this? CD manipulation. Whoa! What? See, I mean, dope, 10 out of 10. Okay, so listen, before I go into this, Mario is such a great creator, magician. He creates magic basically with robots, which is pretty crazy. Let's do it, let's watch it. What? Like, like how? This is crazy, man. Didn't know a piece of cardboard can do magic. It's pretty dope. All right, here's an effect by another great creator, my boy Luke. Let's see it. <laughs> what? Oh my God, that's so good. See, like that type of effects are so good for social media, but like it's so quick, fast, visual. Good job, Luke. This is uh, this is very good. Oh, here's an effect by yours truly. Let's see it. Hey, yo, here's a quick puzzle for you. Only 2% of people can solve the mystery of the vanishing bottle. Here we go. I place the bottle inside of the bag just like this. And when I set my finger, the bottle disappears completely. But for real, the bottle is gone. Let me know in the comment where you think the bottle went. Thank you very much. We know where it went. Oh, we have Richard Sanders here, fellow Canadian. Sanders like pretty much created some of the best magic in the magic community ever. Let's watch this video. 
Hey guys, inside my table I keep a coin because you know I'm weird. I actually keep another coin as well. Now I'm not one That's of those so guys that reaches in and pulls out a third coin. Come on, I don't play that way. I keep that one in there. We'll just use the two over here. Now the two actually travel from hand to hand. Do you see that? Look, let me put this one away because that's maybe too good. Actually, I need it, sorry. <laughs> Look, they travel from hand to hand very quickly. In slow motion, this is what's happening and you don't see it, but in real speed, it looks good. Wow. Okay, let me put this one away again because I think that's, you know where they go, by the way, they go to Las Vegas. They don't go into the table. What? These are, you know what, I'm hungry. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> oh. mm, the green ones especially. These the black ones I don't like. I prefer the red, but the black are okay. Actually, you know what? This is something with a uh, uh, silver coin, that same silver coin that we began with at the beginning that was in the table. Guys, if you like this, please like and share. It'll really help me out. What just happened? This is probably one of my favorite coin routine I've seen ever. If you like this video, share it and like it. Well, I'll do it right now. When I see great performers like this doing such an amazing job creating a routine with their sleight of hands, all the little moves, all the little patter they say, uh, the little jokes they say also, it's like, this is the goal, man. This is the goal. Okay, this is an effect by Michaela. Let's see it right now. What's up, everyone? Here's a neat little trick you can try while you're at home. All you need is a styrofoam cup and make sure you empty out the styrofoam cup before you start. Okay. okay. Then, whenever oh. you want, you can actually make the cup Oh my gosh, it's floating! Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty easy though when there's a a hole. That's right. <laughs> Watch the little hole though. If you actually reach up to it, you can <laughs> pluck it off, and you can start the trick completely over. <laughs> Cheers. This was the perfect example of playing with your spectator's expectation. 10 out of 10, and that's for sure an original trick and method, so good job on that. Very, very, very cool. I'm a little bit jealous that I didn't think about that before. So, I'm gonna go on a other different page that I like called magic.grams. Again, if you're a fan of magic, follow this page. It's really, really good. This is from Yoan. Let's watch it together. So smooth. Wait, what? It's like a double four of a kind production. Oh man, I love this so much. Oh, it's so, so satisfying to watch. What? This is so creative. When you think everything has been done before and now you see this, it's, oh, it's so good. Oh, so much talent online, it's crazy. Okay, now we're gonna watch one of my favorite magician. His name is Antonio Bourgeois. Anything he does is literally perfect. You guys are going to freak out, trust me. Okay, three of spades. And he's, sh he's showing like both sides of the card as well. What? Well, there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast watching so many great talent and magicians online. It's crazy. It's driving me nuts. And one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is that there's a lot of people saying that magic is dead. There's no more magic. Like magic is not cool anymore. Ugh. We have the proof there that Magic is in good hands, literally. Yes, there's so much cringy magic online that lots of people are just taking advantage of magic skills to have views and followers, which is, I think, in my opinion, a little bit bad for the magic community. But again, what I've seen today is just mind-blowing. Now, let me know in the comment if I should react to maybe some cringy magic online and let me know if I should do more videos like this. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe if you aren't already. My name is Alex Boyer and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace!